Hello everybody, it is Zoe slash Nerdist and today I'm going to show you my flashcards and how I make them and how I store them because people ask about them a lot but I haven't actually properly addressed it before so anyway, here you go, enjoy! So to begin with, I would use regular 6x4 index cards and I would keep them in this plastic box which I will leave a link to in the description and then in terms of making my flashcards there were two approaches i would usually take the first would be to make informative more note style -y type of flashcards the second approach and the one i found the most effective was to use flashcards to make test yourself sort of things this is one of my key methods for remembering things for tests so the way i make notes for these flashcards is more or less the exact same way i make revision notes just in general so if you want to know how i make revision notes you can check out my video that i made before but in a nutshell i'll pick what topic i'm revising slash making cards for and then using a textbook or whatever other revision materials i have i'll start picking out key pieces of information and summarizing stuff to put on the cards I often get asked how I know what information to include and usually it's quite clear in the textbook. It's usually bolded or underlined so I just roll with what it says. In terms of formatting and laying out the cards, it really depends on what information you're putting on it. Sometimes you'll have lots of diagrams, sometimes you'll just have writing and it really depends but there's not like a formula you can use I guess. You just have to be creative and maybe draw out in pencil what you think you're going to do and if it doesn't look right then you can change it before you commit to doing it in pen. And here is the second way I make flashcards which kind of adopts a test yourself layout. You can literally use these to learn anything. You can learn vocab, you can learn definitions, diagrams. I made my flashcards for physics in this spiral bound notebook and usually I'd refer to a textbook to make them but I only had my notes on me so that's what I did. I also mainly use the cards to learn definitions, diagrams and processes with more than one step. But basically all you do is write on one side the keyword or term and then on the other more detail on that term so that when you look at the other side with the one word you can think about what that word is meant to represent and then turn it over to check to see if you were right. For colour coding I just use a two colour system. I use black and then a different colour for important words and the main term itself. Okay, so that is literally how I make my flashcards. This was quite short, but honestly, it doesn't take much to make flashcards. You just need to know how to use them effectively. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next week. Bye.